Let's see what my Aunt Buddies be doing. Aunt Buddies. Aunt Buddies, let's see if we can get this focused on you. My Aunt Buddies. What my Aunt Buddies doing, huh? How y'all doing? Oh, my Aunt Buddies doing. Hey, little Aunt Buddies. You want to go to California with me? My Aunt Buddies. <laughs> <laughs> see, you don't know me yet. Let's see. I'm at the, I haven't been talking to the ants very long. It's the first time I've actually talked to the ants. So let me take it slow with them. Get this thing focused. That's why I need a really professional camera to get this kind of stuff. That's how you focus it. Ah. Ah, I'm gonna like this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Ah, center that flower. Yeah, I can like this. Figured that out finally. Sometimes I am stupid. But then sometimes I take something that I'm not supposed to be able to use and make it into something you can use, like a little ant magnifier here. <laughs> On a cheap little cheap little video thing. And I got these ants. How many people with a cheapo, El Cheapo phone can get fucking amp pictures? Freaking amp pictures. <laughs> Try to cuss. But me, yeah, I just gotta be me. Any children, they probably heard the word before. They probably heard, if some slip out of my mouth, they probably heard them fucking before now. <laughs> At least damn before now. If not, hell before now. What are you doing to your children? You. <laughs> you. What are you doing to your children? You making them into little ants and jump away. <laughs> <laughs> ants are so excited. What the reality what it is, the ants are so excited about my voice, they just jump it all around. <laughs> I've done my Mayberry shit on them, put that very voodoo on them. That crazy chickabee. <laughs> Nail and uh, Jody Foster. Crazy. Put the ammo whammy on them and then just go. Check me, check me, check me. And just go in an endless bound of that, and then them and critters will just stand there and let me just do any any kind of picture taking. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me personally, uh, or whether anybody could do that. Uh, I suspect anybody that actually is the animal consensus harmless could actually use that as a method to get to know animals or to to. Uh, <laughs> photograph them and film them and make funny shit. Anyway, that's me, B. Keith Vipperman, artist Kvip, Kvip, Keith, Brian with a fucking Y, Keith Vipperman, Brian Y, Keith Vipperman, Damien Brian Keith Vipperman and call him Keith Y, 
They see so many seeds of stupor before they see me. Before they see me. <laughs> <laughs> if you had the life I had to put up with trying to figure out what people were really saying, you know, like, I before E, except after C, and my name's spelled K E I T H. <laughs> I'm not Kite, K I T, I E before E, okay? <laughs> I mean, I got fucking felt when there's stupid tit. I'm dyslexic, too. How do you think I felt when those teachers were telling me that kind of stuff? And I'm somebody gifted, <laughs> but I'm dyslexic. <laughs> How do you think I reacted to that? I just, you know, did the best I could and ended up being able to read a uh, oh, huge vocabulary work, words books, James Mitchell and stuff, but I uh, couldn't spell them. Some of them I couldn't even pronounce right, like whores the overs. <laughs> Ah, hors d'oeuvres for many years with me were whores the overs. <laughs> I mean, there's something fancy in the A, but it was whores the overs. I thought, like, what is this, some kind of fucking ovary from a whore a prostitute? <laughs> they some kind of, like, Hamill Lecter type people. Whores the overs. Oh. See, I have my... High school friends with Leslie Van Strander in Mariana High School. When I learned to speak French. <laughs> the worst grade I made in high school was in French. And my teacher Leslie, hot for teacher, hot for teacher Leslie Van Strander, who was a hottie, 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 hottie beyond belief, uh, she would try to teach me French. And I'm dyslexic and can't even get American right. <laughs> so pretty much the only D I ever made in high school was in Leslie Van Strander's French class. And she actually liked me a lot is why she gave me a D. And she was one of these teachers that, uh, uh, I don't want to tell too much, but let's say her fingers had brown stains on them. <laughs> and she was... Oh, so happy, and oh, so happy all the time, and oh, talking, and talking, and talking. And I used to like to mess with her. She, back in the 70s, they wear these short, short little dresses. And she'd be up on the board, you know, riding her little thing on the board and stuff. And I was a class clown. I was real shy, but I would, you know, chime in stuff to make up for what I couldn't say when I wasn't being humorous. And I'd say things like, uh, Miss Van Schrander. Let's see if you can write without wiggling your butt. <laughs> and I don't know what those brown stones, stains, stone, stone stains were. I don't know what those brown stains are, were. Maybe she's a heavy cigarette smoker or something. <laughs> but she would, you could see, everybody in the class could see. <laughs> she was trying to not wiggle her butt. <laughs> <laughs> she up there stone, maybe, right on the board, teaching children in the 70s. Really a good, great teacher, too. That's why that most teachers should teach. Some teachers should teach stones rather than who they really are. Uh, Leslie he taught many people really good French, but not a dyslexic person who couldn't teach English. So anyway, I got my vengeance by <laughs> getting everybody to look at Leslie hot for teacher Van Strander's ass while she's up at the board wiggling her little ass in that little short skirt <laughs> dress. <laughs> and back then, you know, you had if you bent over your panty showed you know, that kind of short type thing, even when the teachers were wearing them. They were having to like principals in the south were actually taking rollers out and measuring dresses to see how many inches above the knee they were to see whether the girls could stay in school or not. <laughs> <laughs> and Leslie was well within the rules. Well, she was cool, but she was well within the rules. But the 70s were like with the guys. We wore those skin-tight, cut-off shorts with their junk hanging out. <laughs> Why did we do that? <laughs> anyway, too much information, but I know how to focus this thing now. I know how to focus this thing now. Focus, baby, focus. 
You gotta focus for me? Come on, focus for me. Focus for me. Focus for me. Focus for me. Oh, that's got a plus. That's an infrared photograph. It's got a plus. So if you printed this one, this one knock your eyes out. It would knock your eyes out with the, uh, the way it's set up with the angles and stuff. You would be having trouble standing up. <laughs> Because <laughs> the way I selected the things and the angles and the anyway, yeah. trust me. If I printed that one, people would stare at it on a wall. I just don't have the money to 